going to say good morning, but it won't. But you're going to do this all editing later on, right? <laughs> Who knows what it is? Welcome to Community Nuts Foods on this really terribly cold day. Today, I want to talk to you a little bit about. Uh, I'm going to go back up and introduce myself. I'm going to start. <laughs> Hi, everyone. Liam from Community Nuts. <laughs> You said one take, this isn't gonna work. Ah, uh, you jinxed it. Okay, start again. Hi everyone, Liam from Community Natural Foods. I uh, hope you're all doing well on your wellness journeys. Uh, today I'm gonna talk to you about what to drink. Uh, it may sound like a really simple thing, but there can be some confusion along the spectrum of things that we can drink in a liquid form. And I uh, really wanna start way over here on your right. The one thing you can do best for yourself is drink more water. Now, recommended is eight cups a day, although there's really no scientific evidence that eight cups is an actual thing for everybody on the planet. It could be depending where you live. Calgary is a very dry place, so drinking more than eight cups might be the thing. But either way, eight cups a day is a good foundational place to start. What I would recommend to achieve that is get yourself a water bottle that equates to about maybe about a liter size. Try to drink a couple of those a day. Drink while you're having your food, drink while you're having your lunch, drink while you're having your supper as well, but having that kind of water intake is very, very good for you. We also know that along that line of spectrums, you can get into some carbonated water as well, like, like I have in front of me here. Carbonated waters, you have to be mindful. Look for just plain carbonated mineral water. Read the labels, because at times some pieces will add sugar to these drinks and makes it a little less attractive for you in terms of what it can do for you overall from that nutrient standpoint, particularly if you're looking at um, shedding some weight and limiting the amount of carbs that you get in every day. As we kind of move along here, I, I sort of have these lined up along the way, like kind of drink more and then kind of drink less. We get into drinks like these ones, which are sodas. There are the sodas out there by other brand names that are really, really high in sugars. I won't use the names today, but if you can pick a soda like these ones here, if you really want that sweetness, these ones are generally a sweetened with stevia, zero calories to them, won't spike your glycemic index, really good for you that way as well. We get into fruit juices. Fruit juices are wonderful, they really are. I love it if you can actually go home, get your Vitamix blender out, grab some fruits that you like, grab some greens that you like for a little bit of that bitter taste in there. But you do have to be mindful. Once you've ground all those fruits up, you're kind of left behind with high, high carbohydrates. The sugars tend to be very high in those drinks. But again, if you're going to do these kind of drinks, make sure you look for things that do not have added sugar to them. This one's wonderful, it doesn't have it. Having said all that, I would prefer to see you actually eat a whole fruit because there's lots of micronutrients in those fruits that you wouldn't get if you're simply juicing all the time. Coconut water, man, it's wonderful. Uh, I love this as an after work, after workout drink. Uh, it can really help you get those um, nutrients back in you again. It can really help with those electrolytes with you again. But despite the fact this is just coconut water, the carbohydrates are actually quite high in it and limited carbs as well. But it can do a pinch, especially if you're doing a high intensity workout and you're sweating a lot. Energy drinks are popular for people that are working out. Um, these are quite fantastic. Uh, the major difference between something like this one here and this one here is that the Guru is actually sweetened with cane sugar. It is still a form of sugar. It does make the carbohydrates high. It will actually spike your glycemic index a little bit. When you get into this brand here, sweet with stevia, it's a zero on the glycemic index, nice and sweet too, and will give you that extra boost before, after, or during a workout. Um, we talked about sodas earlier here, and maybe one of the things, if you're trying to manage your weight, if you're really trying to limit your carbs in your diet, looking at something like a soda pop like this, which is purely sweetened by cane sugar, once again, like drinks like this one here, it can spike your glycemic index, have an effect on your insulin levels as well. So once again, to wrap up, drink a lot more water, keep it clean, drink about eight cups a day, and as you move along the spectrum to things that are sweetened, you want to go along the line and probably drink a little less of it as well. Anyway, that's it for today. Please do what you can to connect with us on YouTube, sign us up on Facebook, go to Instagram, participate with us in any way that you can. If you need help along your wellness journey, please come to our stores and talk to our wellness experts. We have a wide variety of people who know exactly what they can do to help you out. Anyway, thanks again for tuning in. Have yourself a wonderful day.